Modern high performance end mills work best when using the correct cutting parameters. To take your machining to the next level, it's vital to understand how these values work together in order to make high quality parts efficiently. Let's look at depth of cut. An end mill cuts with the side and end face. A step over uses the side of the tool. And a step down uses the end face to cut. Most end mill operations will cut with the side and end face at the same time. Inside machining software, step over may also be called radial depth of cut or optimal load. Step over may be a percentage of tool diameter or a distance for each step. Step down or axial depth of cut usually corresponds to the z-axis travel of the machine. Taking even steps keeps a constant amount of force on the tool and removes wasted motion. End mills are designed with certain features to handle different depths of cut. Tools with less flutes usually have more distance between their cutting edges. This leaves space for material to go during the cut for increased step over up to full slotting. Most two and three flutes are designed for soft materials like aluminum. Tools with more flutes have less chip space, but have extra cutting edges. These are usually designed for hard and abrasive materials. The extra edges help survive heat and wear. In most situations, Roughing removes the bulk of material, and then a final cut leaves a smooth finish. Boost your machining skills. Subscribe and hit the notification bell for new tech tips every week.